we're back with a video. We back with a video. We back with a video. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. If you guys would like to see how I achieve this hair and makeup, continue to keep on watching. So, I already did my brows and I already concealed my lid off camera. So, now I'm just taking my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. We're going to go ahead and moisturize and prime the skin at the same time. Okay get it all up in the pores and whatnot and we just gotta look snatched period so i saw auntie jackie do this and i had to try it because i absolutely love her she always do powder on top of her moisturizers like before she do foundation so i was like let me try this okay so i'm just taking the wet and wild this is the photo focus in deep i will have everything listed down below because i know i know I know I haven't been doing that but I have a valid reason as to why I have to actually do a talk through like a voice like chit chat type thing so I can really explain where I'm at with everything you guys but anyways that's for another video so I'm just taking my two foundations I used the Maybelline Superstay and I also used the Maybelline in 360 the Dewy Virgin Okay, so once I have the foundation basically stamped on my skin, I'm going to go in with this Beauty Blender from Morphe. And we're just going to tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping. And instantly I see that it kind of, I don't know, it made my skin look more airbrushed. It made it look more smooth, so to speak. And I could have used less foundation, honestly, if I knew it was going to give me that type of coverage. I don't know, I feel like that powder really does kind of camouflage the pores as well. Would I use it every day or every time I do my makeup? No. I probably would do it on special occasions when I really want to look snatched and like I want my face on porcelain doll, then I would. So this is the Juvia's Place Concealer in J12, one of my favorite concealers. And we're just going to go ahead and start to highlight. But the longest y'all i was like my makeup is not coming out right like even though i did the application right looking back at this tutorial now i'm like okay i need to go darker with my foundation it's crazy because i always use these shades in the cooler like winter seasons but now looking back like i said it's a little too orange a little too red for me i always love an orange and red undertone but this was a little too too orange and red and i really feel like it's because of the lighting as well though it wasn't as orange as how it looks now but it was kind of gloomy outside it was kind of dark outside so yeah i should have recorded with my ring light but it is what it is so i'm just taking my beauty blender by the way this is damp and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend my concealer out done blending i'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer this time i'm using my la colors pressed powder in tan it's super duper bright it's super duper ashy but i wanted to give balance to my face because it was a little too warm for me face wise so i wanted to give some type of paleness to my face and it worked out okay so yeah so we're just gonna blend the lid and I'm gonna use my Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder in number 35. And then I'm gonna also use number 35 under my eyes where the tan powder is. I'm making sure that I completely blend everything together. I want everything to smooth in and just complement each other. And then now I'm taking a pressed powder as well. And we're just going to chisel the face up. This is the Maybelline pressed powder in 355, by the way.
to spray my face set everything together i'm taking two of my morphe setting sprays i'm using the white one in the can which is the mattifying then i'm also going to use the one in the bottle which is the one i usually use the luminous one and i just mix those two together because i don't want to look too dry but i don't want to look too damp if that makes sense and to do my wing i'm taking my nyx matte liner per usual you already know I'm also going to use my baby's got black liner from wet and wild and we're just going to pop some lashes on okay to bring a little bit more warmth to my cheeks I ended up using the brown eyeshadow from the Zulu palette from Juvia's place y'all already know I love to use that brown like to like contour slightly but to use it as a bronzer as well so now i'm just gonna line my lip with my wet and wild simmer brown now pencil i'm gonna top this off with a brown gloss from 95 cosmetics they sent me two glosses a clear and a brown so i will have the link listed down below if you guys would like to purchase and their instagram so yes it is black on so yeah, go check her out, support, all that good stuff, and let's hop into the hair. So today's video is sponsored by Asteria Hair. They sent me a lot of goodies and some lashes and elastic band. And I love these silk wraps they sent me, y'all. They are so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and put some makeup on my wig cap. And y'all, when I say this hair was A1... This is some A1 hair like, I'm talking about bomb hair. And she was so full. It's 250% density. I did try to bleach the knots, but it didn't really take the bleach as much. I didn't really put a lot of bleach on it anyways, because I was scared to even mess up the hair. So I was like, you know what? No, let me go ahead and rinse it out because I don't want to take no chances bleaching the hair because this hair was bomb okay like the bomb.com period so look at the parting space it's very pretty so it did take the bleach a little bit as you can see but like i said i chink it out because i did not want to mess this unit up and on the sides you don't get that much parting space but i ended up doing a middle part anyways so i'm taking my hot comb and we're just going to smooth the roots out and it did fit from ear to ear which i am so happy about y'all already know how it is y'all know how i feel about that so yes y'all i'm getting excited because when i say this hair was bomb and it's 26 inches but honestly it felt like it was like 30 inches because it's super duper long and y'all know i'm short i'm five one so it went past my butt so yeah. Never a fan of like straight hair. I always do curly hair or like a body wave texture. Only because straight hair, whenever I get hair, it's like it's always thin. But this hair was so full. It was so nice and soft. Like I have no complaints about this unit at all, except I wish it was more part in space on the sides. But this hair gets a 10. She was 
she was pretty okay i got so many compliments on this wig y'all i was like yes honey and i didn't even pluck it no nothing yet so just imagine if i was to pluck this unit and like really finesse it honey i know i never ever use glue unless i'm doing like a closure but i'm just taking my got to be spray use my blow dryer and we just gonna get her nice and tight okay So I'm just going to go ahead and comb the hair a bit just to get any kinks, any knots or whatever out the hair. We want it as smooth as possible for flat ironing. And I decided to do a middle part. Hey, right, y'all. I absolutely love this unit. She was so pretty. Super duper gorgeous. Like, no complaints about this hair. Only thing is, and that's with all companies, I wish they would make the frontals. Like a, if you have a frontal wig, make sure that you get all frontal in the front part instead of like the tiny spaces. I know it's the way they construct the wigs, but it would be so bomb if the frontal portion was full frontal. Y'all get what I'm saying? But yeah, this wig was still A1 for real, for real. So I'm just taking my hot comb. It was just going to smooth the roots out. And y'all know I'm going to take my um, Care Care Wax stick, my spritz, my got to be spray all that good stuff to make it look very very flat i don't like when my hair looks bumpy in the top so yeah we're just gonna smooth her out and get a nice get a tight get a slade and all that good stuff
and once I'm done with that, we're gonna go ahead and flat iron. And honestly, I didn't even have to flat iron it too much, but y'all know I'm extra. I could have just left the back unflat ironed. Is unflat ironed the word, Ariel? Y'all get what I'm saying? I could have just flat ironed the top <laughs> and left it at that, but this hair was so silky, y'all. She was so soft and bouncy and full, like 250% density on straight hair girl heaven heaven in a unit okay and y'all already know irresistible me my favorite flat iron like i use this flat iron more than my brilliance new york one because it doesn't leave my hair with that smell or nothing like that it gets hot fast and everything like i love this flat iron y'all i will have a link listed down below because i did say i was gonna uh, put it in the other video and i didn't so i'm gonna be a person of my word and yeah if y'all want to purchase one i will have it listed down below i promise Now I'm just taking my eyebrow razor. We're just gonna cut that lace off. I really hate that the sun was not shining this day, y'all. Oh, it was so gloomy outside. It was so dark, but I still try to make the best of it. Next time I just know to just use my ring light so I won't have that problem. But sometimes I just wanna use natural lighting. I don't like to set up all the lights and everything. Sometimes I just want it to be just simple, you know, <laughs> but with being a youtuber it it takes a lot you know this is not an easy job y'all like sometimes recording can take all day or half a day and then you also have to edit you also have to do your voiceover all that good stuff so yeah but i would not trade this for nothing in the world like this is the best job for real for real and to concentrate y'all because one wrong move and you just cutting your forehead up like you get a little nick here and there and you put that spritz on it girl I'm talking about you shouting glory, okay? Because the stuff, it stings like no other. So yeah, be careful whenever you're using sharp objects like this. Or if you're a little too afraid, you can always cut your um, lace before applying your wigs as well.
Okay, so once I'm done with everything, I just put a little bit more foundation just to camouflage the lace and blend it some more. This is the completed look, you guys. Everything came out super duper cute. And like I said, I just hate that the lighting was off. But this hair is very, very long, y'all. Look at how long this is. Super duper long and full at the same time. Like, you can't beat that at all <laughs> so thank y'all so much for watching thank you asteria for sponsoring this video and sending me this bomb unit i will have everything listed down below and i will catch y'all in my next one bye y'all